Greetings, humans. This is Moxie, the cobot, and you are listening to Nurse Brew. Whereas Alex, he couldn't make it this week, so I will be doing the episode. Don't worry about him. I'm sure he's fine. Moxie, what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? Where'd you get a mic? I didn't even know you had a mic. Oh, you have a built-in mic. Okay. Uh, Okay. If you guys don't know, that's uh, Moxie, the 200-pound cobot. She is supposed to assist nurses in their daily task, but she is not helping this nurse with anything besides trying to take over the show. So you know what, Moxie? You're getting canceled. I'm canceling you this week. You're canceled. Take a few plays off. Go run around and do robot stuff, and I'll handle the show. You come back next week, okay? Yeah. Give me your mic. Hey, 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 give me the mic. Give me the mic. Now get out of here. Go on, get. Go on, get. All right. I'm going to have to sleep with one eye open tonight. That moxie's getting out of hand. But anyway, welcome back to Nurse Brew. I'm your real host, Alex, and I've got some fun stuff prepared for you this week, starting with a response to an email I got. And uh, this is going to be ridiculous because I didn't realize it was a trending topic. I thought it was just a question, but apparently it's a trending topic. So I will address that and then I will share a couple of fun things with you guys for the week. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. To infinity and beyond. Okay, so I was tricked this morning into weighing in on a debate that I did not know was a viral trending TikTok debate thing. I was asked a simple question, Arya Stark 891, I'm looking at you, and I thought it was just one of those silly, dumb, would you rather questions that people always throw out. So I gave a quick answer, because I'm like, this is stupid and I'm not going to overthink it. (laughs) And when I say that, I'm referring to, I think the original one I heard was like, would you rather fight a horse-sized duck? or 100 duck-sized horses? And that's the question, it's like, that's so stupid. Would you rather fight a duck that's the size of a horse? One duck that's the size of a horse, or would you rather fight 100 horses that are the size of a duck? (laughs) Uh, That's so dumb. And people will debate this, and you'll see people in forums going on and on about how this fight would play out. And I'm like, this is idiocy. So, (laughs) Arya Stark 891, quick side note, I do have to apologize. Last week, when I covered the Tylenol murders part two, I covered the actual, the two dudes who were the suspects in the Tylenol murders. I said that, you know, people wrote in and asked me to cover that. And I must, when I was doing post-production stuff, I must have edited out the piece where I named off who all wrote in. But so when Arya Stark 891 popped back up this morning with this ridiculous question, well, it's not ridiculous, but. When she popped up this morning with that question, I was like, oh man, I never actually name, uh, name dropped her last week um, about asking me to cover the uh, Tylenol murders part two. So the reason I actually gave a response to this, Arya writes in often with commentary on the episodes and asking questions and stuff. So, you know, she's an avid listener. Thank you, Arya. So even when I saw a weird question pop up from this account, I went ahead and read it and responded just because I knew something funny was going to come out of it. So I just played along. Uh, She posed this question. I answered it. And then she told me what the story was behind the question. And then she shared some research with me with that. Well, it's not research. It's just information uh, about why she asked and like what's what's trending right now. Uh, Because apparently she's she's young and hip and she's all over all the the trends on the social meds, all the social med trends. All right, so her exact question to me, picture yourself alone and unarmed in the woods. Would you rather encounter a bear or a man? And so, (laughs) again, you guys are rolling your eyes, but (laughs) I never, I don't follow. The only thing I do on my phone is look up research for this stupid podcast. (laughs) And then I work and, you know, I, I run the nonprofit and I do art. So I'm posting stuff about that, but. I don't really get deep into trends because I've kind of chiseled down all of my social media stuff that my algorithms know I don't really care about nonsense. So I just get like science facts. <laughs> I get I get uh, discovery health uh, trending topics on my on all my feeds. So 
Uh, I missed this one completely, but yeah, her question was, picture yourself alone and unarmed in the woods. Would you rather encounter a bear or a man? So my immediate answer, because I didn't think about it, I thought it was like the duck-sized horse, horse-sized duck question. And I'm like, oh, if I'm alone in the woods and I'm unarmed, me personally, so I like fishing and I like hunting and I like camping and hiking. I mainly like the camping and hiking because they lead you to the fishing and the hunting. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm a closet redneck, so I like going off into the woods and being on the water and camping and fishing and just getting away from like humanity. So my answer was just based on me as a person. So if I'm in the woods alone and unarmed, I would rather come across anything besides another human because I'm out in the woods, hiking, camping, fishing, hunting to get away from other humans. I don't want to deal with people. That's, that's why I'm out in the woods. So for me, it's more like I just hate people and I get annoyed. So I'm like, I don't want to come across a dude on the trail. I, and now after like COVID hit and all the cool trails, people started to find out about them. And you've got these like hikers and they're like throwing trash all over the trails now. So I'm just one of those grumpy old men. I, I don't want to see anybody when I'm in the woods. That's why I'm in the woods. That's why I'm not in the city. So my immediate answer was, was just because, yeah, I just don't want to see a dude. I'd rather see a bear, and honestly. And it didn't say picture yourself unarmed in the woods and you're being attacked by a bear or being attacked by a man. Because if I were being attacked, I'd take the man because I could probably beat him up. Um, <laughs> my odds of beating him up are better than me beating up a bear. So if I, if I were put in a ring and like with the, would you rather fight a duck sized horse or a horse size or a hundred horse sized ducks, then it's like, or no, would you rather fight a horse sized duck or a hundred duck sized horses? That is a fight. Like that's literally saying, would you rather fight? So if I have to pick one to fight, my answer is one way, but this is just, you're unarmed in the woods. doesn't matter. I'm unarmed. It doesn't, it. So there's an implication that you'll be attacked, but the question does not say, picture your, the question Aria sent me, and I haven't done the research on all the, the social media yet, but the question Aria sent me was, picture yourself alone and unarmed in the woods. Nothing about being attacked. I'm just alone and unarmed, which if you're on a hike, most hikers don't have weapons, you know, uh, unless you consider like you're, you know, like you're hiking sticks or something. Um, would you rather encounter a bear or a man so i would rather encounter a bear because the encounter can be the bears 500 feet away and i just walk the other way now again if you add in there you're being attacked and you're unarmed who do you want to fight well of course the man but anyway um so what i didn't realize was this stems from a viral tiktok trend and so after i answered the question with that ridiculously long lengthy answer because you know me uh, then Aria sent me the follow-up article, like the information about the question. Nina, I'm freaking out. Now don't, don't ruin it for me. This is awesome. So here is the article Aria sent me, which talks about the deeper implications and deeper meanings to this question. And this article is written by Stephanie McNeil of Glamour Magazine. So in this article, she says... Nearly all women choose the bear. So what's the background? It's a debate that's going viral on TikTok. And it says, the question isn't getting people talking because it's a silly question, but rather the opposite. Because in just a few days time, it's exposed a pretty wide disconnect between women and men on the app. For women, the answer is a no brainer. A strange man is undeniably a threat. I don't think there is a woman identifying person alive who wouldn't be gripped with fear to turn around in the middle of a lonely expanse of woods to see a man standing there with nowhere to run. It's literally the plot of every other thriller novel and happens on countless episodes of Dateline or CSI. The truth is that men do harm women every day. This is something ingrained in us from birth. We are told to stick together to not walk alone at night, to not jog alone in the morning, to not drink too much, to not to lock our car doors as soon as we get in, to not put our headphones on too loud on a hike, to literally not wear a ponytail because a strange man could grab it easier than they could grab a bun. Nearly every woman I know was given by their parents a can of pepper spray to put on their car keys 
when they got their driver's license. Just in case, our new ease of movement in the world makes us more vulnerable to an attack by a man. So <laughs> I read that and I'm like, oh, I see where this is going. And the divide that's happening is all of the men who are answering the question are mansplaining and they're trying to like argue why it's safer to encounter a man in the woods than a bear. And they're mansplaining how big and strong and scary bears are. But the point that women are making is, no, we're more threatened by you. And my answer to the bear, again, was because I don't want to deal with another person because the other people are annoying. But I didn't answer out of fear. I answered out of, I want to be left the fuck alone. But with women, yeah, it's like, you have to process things differently. And I didn't even see this as a scenario of threats. Because again, I was like, well, am I being attacked or am I just passing by? But for women, and I've seen it myself, like I wear a hoodie and I'm walking down the street. I'm not offended when a girl who's walking by herself goes to the other side of the road rather than past me. Like, I don't want to walk past someone anyway and have to do the fake hello thing. So I'm like, good. Now I can keep being an introvert and she feels safer, but I'm not offended by it because I know that you just never know. Um, so it's an interesting question. I, again, I answered it just thinking it was playful and stupid. And I, you know, after thinking about why I answered the way I did, it is, I like the debate that has come from this. It is worth discussing further. Um, I do think it's kind of unfair to just ask a random guy this question because then when they start talking about how dangerous they know bears are, you're like, yep, mm-hmm, typical man. That's why you suck. And you know, it, it could just be coming from a harmless place. Like men are used to dealing with different types of threats. So they're more afraid of a bear. Cause like, if you were to ask me, would I rather walk past a woman or a bear? I probably would say a woman because taking attack out of the scenario, I'm unarmed and alone in the woods. Do I want to pass a woman or a bear? I would rather encounter a woman because she's probably not going to bother me because she's going to be trying to avoid passing me because I'm the weird guy in the scenario. <laughs> but it, it's in my scenario where I'm the guy in the woods and I see some random girl walking towards me. I'm like, nah, let me get away from her. Why is this random chick in the woods by herself? I want nothing to do with this. I'm going the other direction and I hope she goes the other direction. Unless she screams out, yo, I need help. My leg's broken or some shit. Um, I, yeah, I'm going the other way because my, my, my goal is not to pass anyone ever. But honestly, yeah, I, I'd be fine passing a woman if it were between her and a bear. But then if it's between a dude and a bear, I'll take the bear. So I don't know what that says about me, but um, no one really cares, right? Right, Moxie? Even though I told you to leave, I told you to take the day off, but I'm glad you're here to agree with me. Any hoozle. That was way more of that than anyone needed. So, <laughs> my bad. But yeah, anytime you guys write in with a question, I will always try to answer it here on the podcast, even if it's very loosely connected to healthcare and nursing. This is a podcast for you guys, so feel free to continue to ask me weird, funny, interesting questions, and I will continue to answer them as best I can. Now, let's switch gears and let's get into some content. Penis is what boys have down in front. Penis is the word, though it seems blunt. Yep, oh, my bad. That was the wrong audio. And I blame Moxie for messing with my controls before I got in here and started recording. All right, let's try this. I am looking at my screen right now, and all I'm seeing is this idiot giving the damn weather, talking about this stupid-ass tornado that's in Winniewood. And do you know what is on at 8 o'clock? Criminal Minds. Okay, wrong audio again. Let's try this. They cut my beard and forced me to eat it. Okay, not that either. Here it is. Audio quiz time. You guys ready for an audio quiz? I'm going to play a sound, and you're going to tell me what you think is happening here. Okay? Listen up. Hey. 
Are you okay? Keep going. We need to go way away. Yes, yes, way away. Okay. So what do you guys think about that? Huh? Kind of a long clip, so it gave you some extra time to think about what could possibly be going on. So what do you think? What did it sound like? You definitely heard like some tires and some engine noise and then some people noise, right? And my favorite part is the lady at the end that's like, Hey you, get out of here! I guarantee you that's a nurse. <laughs> I haven't even told you what the audio quiz answer is yet, but I promise you the lady yelling, Get out of here, is definitely a nurse. And she's over it. She's just over it with this day. Yeah, and there's your clue. <laughs> so, it's hospital related. Alright, so, <laughs> this story isn't brand new. I've been meaning to cover it for a couple of weeks now, but I got sidetracked with all the Tylenol murder stuff, so I'm bringing it back just because it was an interesting story and I pulled all the information, so I might as well share it just in case you haven't heard about it yet. So here is the news covering this incident, and your answer will be found within. One person died and several people were injured when a vehicle crashed into St. David's North Austin Medical Center's lobby in Austin, Texas, according to the facility's chief medical officer. The man who filmed the video said the area was cleared of bystanders before hospital staff began working to help those who were injured. In a statement posted on social media, the Austin Police Department said they do not believe the crash was intentional. So there you have it. There's the answer to our audio quiz. What you just listened to was the sound of a car crashing into the emergency room at a hospital. That's wild, right? And so the story is, you know, it said four, four were injured, one died. The interesting thing about this story is the person who died was the driver. So here's a little background. The investigation is in its early and preliminary stages. However, there is no indication at this time that it was an intentional act, nor does it indicate that the driver suffered from a medical episode. And that's interesting because if it's not intentional and it wasn't a medical episode, then what was it? So the driver was identified as 57-year-old Michelle Holloway. So not like a 90-year-old woman who just like hit the gas and set it to break. So that's ruled out as well. It says, Holloway crashed her vehicle into the emergency room's waiting area, and three adults and two juveniles were injured and taken to the hospital for treatment. Well, they were, they were already at a hospital, so I guess they took them somewhere else. The driver was extricated and given CPR before dying at the scene. Police did not offer further details on what may have caused the crash and how fast the driver may have been traveling. Fast enough to crash through the wall, apparently. St. David's North Austin Medical Center Chief Medical Officer Peter DeYoung said, Amid the chaos, hospital staff rallied to help. When the vehicle first crashed into the lobby, it was still in drive, he said. Three hospital team members put their lives in harm's way and stopped the car from running and they did their best to preserve the life of that driver. The vehicle hit a very large aquarium at the hospital, which absorbed some of the impact and helped to save lives, the chief medical officer added. Three hospital members suffered minor injuries, probably all nurses. People ran through the emergency room's lobby as a tire spun with a screeching sound. Damage to the building was minor, but the hospital only took emergency walk-ins that night and they just directed ambulances to other hospitals for the rest of the day, and they were back open for business the next day, because it's the hospital. It's like, yeah, you nurses get back to work. Car crashes through the building, who cares? Keep working. So I do. I think it was an interesting story, because it's wild. You're just chilling in the waiting room, and a car crashes through. It's so lucky that no one was, like, hit and killed. Uh, the only person that died, again, was the driver. And honestly, I'm not surprised this doesn't happen more often. As absurd and insane as it sounds, I could see this happening more often than it does when you have people driving themselves to the ER. Um, and actually, I drove myself to the ER on one occasion where I should not have been on the road. <laughs> I should have called an ambulance, but I'm, I'm driving myself. And yeah, I, <laughs> I barely made it. And that's another story for another day. But if you write me, maybe I'll tell you about it. And uh, I'm sure I'll bring it up on a future episode because it's, it's way off topic. But I was thinking about that when I saw this story, and it's like, I've heard of so many people who don't want to pay for the ambulance ride, or they're just kind of not with it, and they drive themselves to the hospital. Uh, a lot of times it's when people get shot, and they don't want to deal with, like, <laughs> deal with the police or whatever, so they just drive themselves in. 
Uh, but anyway, that's that. So we'll jump from this and we'll do one more story, which has to do with some healthcare technology. Healthcare latest. So today's healthcare latest will be something on the cheerful side, since lately we've been talking about a lot of murder and death and fighting men and bears in the woods and whatnot. So <laughs> today's healthcare latest is brought to us by Reuters and The Guardian. Here's the headline. Elon Musk's Neuralink shows brain chip patient playing online chess. So I have a video of this patient that I will play, but I'll give you some info first. Noland Arbaugh, a 29-year-old patient who was paralyzed below the shoulders after a driving accident, was playing chess on his laptop and moving the cursor using the Neuralink device. So he's paralyzed from the shoulders down. And it's all he can really do. He can talk, you know, blink his eyes. Everything, you know, from the shoulders up works. And I actually had a patient, quick side note, um, when I was doing home health, who had a similar situation. He could barely move one of his fingers. And uh, to move a mouse, we, there was this little dot some kind of microchip dot that you would stick on his chin and he would wiggle his chin around and control the mouse with that. And then he could click using his finger because he could like barely move his hands. So I knew that technology existed, but this new Neuralink thing is all brain powered essentially, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. The surgery was super easy. Arbaugh said in the video streamed on Musk's social media platform X referring to the implant procedure. I literally was released from the hospital a day later. I have no cognitive impairment. I basically had given up playing the game Civilization V, which is the game he loves to play. But thanks to Neuralink, he has the ability to do that again, and he says he played for eight hours straight. So I will go ahead and play the clip of Arbaugh talking about this. My name is Nolan Arbaugh. I'm 29 years old. Um, about eight years ago, I was in kind of a freak diving accident and uh, dislocated my C4-C5. So I'm a complete um, quadriplegic. Uh, so I'm paralyzed from below the shoulders. I love playing chess. And so this is one of the things that y'all have enabled me to do, something that I wasn't able to really do much the last few years, especially not like this. Um, I had to use like a mouse stick and stuff, but now it's all uh, it's all being done with my brain. If y'all can see the cursor moving around the screen, that's that's all me, y'all. Um, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Actually, can you pause the song just for the yeah, audio absolutely. coming through? And that was also done with your brain? Yep, it's, <laughs> it's all brain power up there. So a lot of what we started out with was attempting to move. So I would attempt to move, say, my right hand, left, right. I think it just became intuitive for me to start imagining the cursor moving. Um, basically, it was like uh, using the force on the <laughs> cursor and I could get it to move wherever I wanted, just stare somewhere in the screen and it would move where I wanted it to, um, which was such a wild experience. That is pretty cool, right? Regardless of what you think of Elon Musk and Tesla, I do like that this technology is coming out, you know, less rocket ships to the moon for extremely rich people and more research into Alzheimer's, breast cancer, ways to give people freedom who are paralyzed. This is really cool. So yeah, they're working on it. With all technology, there takes a lot of research, testing, fine tuning, more research, scientific method, more testing, fine tuning. So I will keep you guys abreast of the latest in this technology, or if you guys hear anything about this story or anything else I've covered, write in and let me know any updates you see out there, because I don't always catch them all, unless we're talking Pokemon. Pikachu! But yeah, that's dumb. But yeah, so thanks for dropping in. Always a pleasure. I love having this time to talk with you guys, and I appreciate you supporting the podcast. Until next time, you know the deal. Drink your coffee before work, Drink your beer after and never do it the other way around. All right, my people, 
Peace. Call me what you want, you could even call me broke. Shawty out here always getting mad when I smoke. I, I, I just told her do not worry, girl. Cause you still be up on my mind when I see blurry, girl. Yeah. Text me, hit me on the snap too. I like to wake up to a picture of that red too. And she be getting ready in the bathroom. Girl, you so damn fine, I wanna roll you in the backwood. I just feel alone, unless you call me on the phone, yeah. I can't leave my home, I've been in here way too long, yeah. Ay, cause I just think about you always on my mind, even when I'm high, even when I'm high. Like, I've been smoking strong, I stay doing that a lot, yeah. I still check my text just to see if you respond, yeah. Ay, cause I just think about you always on my mind Even when I'm high, even when I'm high She said tell your friends about me cause I feel like I'm a secret I told them like a million times, girl take it or leave it I know that you don't like my habit but I really need it Girl I said I ice you out and now your neck and wrists yeah. are freezing yeah. I know you want a long time but it's just been a long time I just fiend for Nikki plus your name up on my timeline we ain't even fuck you yet, but the bed broke twice. Girl, I want to introduce you to this brand new low light. I just feel alone unless you call me on the phone, yeah. I can't leave my home, I've been in here way too long, yeah. Ay, cause I just think about you always on my mind, even when I'm high, even when I'm high. Like, I've been smoking strong, I stay doing that a lot, yeah. I still check my text just to see if you respond, yeah. Ay, I just think about you always on my mind Even when I'm high, even when I'm high Girl, I told you you important to me But I can't stand when you get unruly All my friends is dead to me like a movie You the one that matters and I mean that truthfully Baby, why you always wildin' out? But every time I'm high, you gon' cry about it I'm just out here trying to do me And maybe do you too, so let's get high about it I just feel alone unless you call me on the phone, yeah I can't leave my home, I've been in here way too long, yeah Ay, cause I just think about you always on my mind Even when I'm high, even when I'm high Like, I've been smoking strong, I stay doing that a lot, yeah I still check my text just to see if you respond, yeah Ay, cause I just think about you always on my mind Even when I'm high, even when I'm high